Welcome to this Windows and computer channel. And remember, if you are using a laptop or a Windows 10 device that has Wi-Fi, one of the things that you could do is create a mobile hotspot around you. That means you can share the internet connection with others. Now, there's a few things you need to know. First of all, uh, some of these functionalities could be blocked at your ISP level. Sometimes a mobile hotspot or sharing of your internet connection through uh, a machine, a, a phone or a, um, a computer is sometimes blocked at the ISP level. And if that is the case, then you need to contact your internet service provider. But for most people, this should work in general. So that means if you want to share internet with somebody, but don't want to share your Wi-Fi password, for example. One of the things that Windows 10 has to offer is a sharing of your internet connection through your own computer or tablet. That means you simply go to All Settings, you go to Network and Internet, and on the left side you'll see something called Mobile Hotspot. Here, it's going to tell you the way that right now it is actually configured. So if you want to share your internet connection with other devices, with other people, you can turn this on. And once it's applied, you are going to share your connection. It's going to tell you what um, device might be connected or not. And I will actually uh, check it out here. I'll uh, use my phone and connect to this uh, connection so you guys are gonna see that it might actually show up in the uh, that there's a connected device so if I go into um, connections and go to Wi-Fi on my computer on my phone I actually now can see my computer and the name of the computer or the device you see here, network name, this is what's going to appear in your device. Acer Nitro 54065 is my name. Your, your computer is going to have a different name. So when that happens, what you do is you simply connect to that name, which is the name of the network. Then you have network password. So this is by default. What you could do to make it easier is, for example, edit this information and say, okay, I want to have, um, you know, 5588 uh, connect. It's just an example. You give it whatever you want and you can choose your band of connection, 5 or 2.4 gigahertz. So you can choose that and click save. Once you are of course, seeing the connectivity or the device, you simply enter the password on your phone or whatever device that you want to connect to and click connect. And here it goes. My Galaxy S 25 G is now connected through an IP created by the uh, computer. So here you have one connected device now. And that means I could actually uh, go on the internet as it tells me to hear that internet connectivity is there. And if I switch off the Wi-Fi from my phone, that device is not connected anymore. And what's going to happen is that this makes you very secure because once your friends have connected, once your uh, whoever you want to share the internet with is connected. If you turn this off, it means that the sharing is now stopped. So it's kind of a secure way of connecting without having to give your personal Wi-Fi password because that's always touchy. You know, I gave my Wi-Fi password quite a few times to some friends that came over. And it's not that you don't trust them, but, uh, you know, after that, you're like, well, I'm going to change my password just, you know, to make sure. And as a tech guy, I've often shared my Wi-Fi connection with unknown people to fix their computers, for example. So that also is a cause of, well, OK, we're going to, you know, I'm just going to uh, disconnect or change my password. Now here, 
with the mobile hotspot, it's really super easy to actually connect with other people. And if your tablet or PC is connected via a, um, you know, your uh, carrier, your phone carrier, well, that also enables you to share the connection with others temporarily. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.